What's up guys? Welcome to Double Doom. Hey! And, um, well, we just finished another review. It was about, um... Upgrade. Upgrade. Yeah. This next one is going to be about Rough Night. Now, she hasn't seen the movie, but no. she says she doesn't want to see it by the description I, I gave her. So... Well, maybe you described it bad. I did not. You didn't? I okay. did not. Um, <laughs> I did not. Okay. <laughs> like, uh, Tommy yeah. Wiseau. But anyways... <laughs> So, so the movie uh, is basically the white version of Girls Trip, and oh, that you, one, yeah. When I tell you this movie is ass, like it is more butt than like butt, like it is. Oh my gosh, it's a train wreck. Like it's not even funny, honestly. Girls Trip was hilarious. Yeah, I love it. So the movie starts out with uh, with. Uh, Okay, Black Widow. I'm just going to call her Black Widow from now on. Black Widow and the girl from, what's that show? Workaholics. And they're they're drunk playing um, playing beer pong in this oh like, championship gosh. against like these guys in a fraternity. And then uh, there's these two girls who are like together but not together. Like they, they get all like girly on each other whenever like guys try to hit on them. But anyways, so they're playing beer pong and then like they have to take the last shot and the girl for some reason puts the ping pong ball in her mouth and blows it out and makes it into the cup, which is kind of cool, but at the same time it's like, that's like... A lot of people touched that, that was on the floor. Somebody's butt was probably by it, like, it's that's, that's not practical, nasty. it was stupid. But anyways they win and then like, uh, the girl gets knocked out and then that's the end of it. And then like, we get in there later. And Black Widow is setting up this uh, campaign thing where she's making a video to like run for mayor or something like that. And it's like awkward as fuck because she makes these weird face twitches on the camera and it's like, but you don't, what? Like why are you acting so weird? <laughs> Be like that uh, that little scene in, um, in Atlanta. Oh my God. Stop being weird, I'm nigga! Not. I'm not, I'm, I'm not. trying. Oh, no, right. man, I'm just sitting here. Oh, y'all shut up. This ain't fun time. <laughs> if you, oh my gosh. If you don't know what we're talking about, go see Atlanta. It's, so it's a very good show. Yes. But anyways, so uh, they start off and the girl's about to get, she's going to get married, so they're going to have this, um, what It sounds like a hangover. It's like that, but they're trying to make it like girls trip as well. Oh, like, that's how the two came together. Yeah, it's, but it's not funny. So. so the girl version of Hangover, the white version of Girl's Trip. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, uh, like, the girl's getting married, so they they have, like, a... What's that thing called? I don't know. What are you when, talking about? What? Yeah, you do. Uh, what? It's whenever... Bachelor party. Bachelorette party. Oh. They're trying to have that. And there's this weird sex scene because, like, the, the neighbors are, like, swingers and, like... Uh, the girl's like, oh, like, they have security. Okay, well, let me go back. I fucked up. You lost me. So, they're there at this, uh, this fancy house, right? And, um, this guy, they, the girl who, one of the friends, she calls over a stripper, and the stripper doesn't show up, but some other guy does. Now, we don't know that he's not the stripper, but they think he is. And he starts to strip, and then he tells, uh, Black Widow, he's like, oh, yeah, you want it, you little whore. And then, like, she's like, ew, and, like, she runs, and it's like, well, you were just kind of, like, wanting it, so, <laughs> like, <laughs> right? Yeah. It's like, <laughs> shit, I'd be mad. I'd be like, bitch. Like, <laughs> so, uh, Call then the big girl. Whore. Right? You a whore. <laughs> <laughs> so then the big girl, like, jumps. The girl from Alcoholic, she jumps onto the guy while he's on the chair and he falls backwards and like oh busts his head open. Oh. He dies. Oh. Yeah, like there's oh. a lot of blood. He's dead. And so they're like trying to get rid of the body. So they take him out to the water and dump him. And then they realize Why? that the neighbors. Saw? No, because they didn't want to get caught. And they had touched the body. They moved the body, all that shit. God. So they try to drop him off in the ocean. And then it turns out that the. Um, neighbors. The neighbors have these cameras outside, what? so the the one of the couple, like the black girl that's part of the uh, the lesbian couple or a bi couple, whatever you want to call it, she uh, she goes over because like they were hitting on her when they first got there, and she fucks both of them, 
And then the guy's like, oh, you want to do it outside so like we can have video camera of it. And the... Wow. The, wow, uh, just, just putting it out there. Yeah, she does. That's Goodness, oh my gosh. And then it turns out that the cameras don't even work. So it's like, that's... It just wasn't funny. Like, I don't, I didn't see the funniness about it. But anyways. It's just basically everything's supposed to be going bad in this movie. Is that what the, the whole point of it? Like, rough night, clearly, right? Yeah. Everything's going bad. And then, like, it Not turns as out. Not expected. It turns out the guy's a robber. Or, or uh, the stripper. Yeah, the guy that they killed, he was a robber. And they, they stole some jewelry out of a, out of a, um, a vault or some shit. And... Uh, it seems like a very poorly written It's very poorly written and it makes me feel stupid because I'm trying to explain it but it's hard to explain because it's so stupid. It's like, what's going on here? I don't think they took time to write it. And uh, basically... Like, you think it's just like an ad-lib movie the whole way through? Is this basically. Okay, because all of, of a sudden, movies. all of a sudden towards the end, like after like Black Widow's like not being all scared and stuff and hiding, she becomes Black Widow and like uh, beats some guy's ass, shoots some guy, I think. Like and the like, actual character of Black Widow or she just like starts fighting? She starts fighting like Black Widow's. It's like, was this like... Were y'all trying to prepare for her to have a Black Widow solo movie? Because if this is how it's going to be... Is this, this her origin story or something? Like, right? It's like, okay, yeah. Um. Right? But yeah, it just it just doesn't work out. There's this weird, um, like, side story where, where the boyfriend thinks he has to go save his girlfriend from, like, cheating on him because, like, he gets all paranoid because she's not picking up the phone. And so he... Uh, one of the guys who's acting super, super sus, he's like, um, like, dude, you got an astronaut lady, it, which means, like, you got to put on a diaper and drive all the way over there on cans of Red Bull to, to win, win his girlfriend back. And then it turns out, like, she wasn't even cheating on him, so it's like, you just drove there for what nothing. What is, this, there seems to be no point. There wasn't really a point. I don't. I didn't really even get it, honestly, all the way through. Okay. And then they had the lady um, from Ghostbusters, the, the goofy one. Which one? The one that's in that uh, that new spy movie with Mila Kunis. No, but which Ghostbuster? The goofy one, the white one. Well, there's three white ones. Not Kristen Wiig, not the fat one, the other one. The one that says the salty parabolas? That one? Yes. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. The cool she, one? Yeah. She's the cool one? Yeah. She was kind of funny, but at the same time, I felt like she had she had nothing to work with. And so movie. it was just awkward. And she was Australian. <laughs> she got okay. the accent down pretty decent. but Or no, she's uh, uh, Aust the other one, Austrian, or, I think. Austrian? I no, get not, it right, babe. It's, it's something else. Something but anyways... Else. Uh, if I were to rate this movie, I'd definitely <laughs> give it, uh, I'd give it a fuck you, like, if, oh, damn. like, if I were to go watch this movie in theaters, I'd be pissed, because it wasn't funny, it wasn't cohesive. It made you mad? Yeah, because it's like, what the fuck is going on? This, this shit is stupid. Like, I felt like I wasted an hour and a half of my time watching it. I feel like I wasted 15 minutes reviewing it to you guys. So, like, just don't watch this movie. You're going to waste your time. You're going to be like, oh, that's not funny. It's like watching that uh, that comedian lady who's not actually funny. Uh, <laughs> the one in Trainwreck. You thought that movie was funny. Uh, mm. I got to sneeze. What's her name? I don't know. Anyways. Don't do it. Don't. Please, I beg you, don't watch it. It's, it's not Lucky good. Girls Trip, that's yeah. funny. You won't waste your time watching Girls Trip. There's always like a laugh. There's, there's big dick jokes. There's fucking little dick jokes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No homo. But. <laughs> oh my god. 
But no, like, it's like the movie is. There's a lot of moments where you're like, yes, girl, go get him, girl. Yes, you go tell him. Or, girl, I got you. Don't worry. Like, I feel you. Like, you're like, you're, you get all up in your feels in this movie. I love it. No. Girl's Trip, not the other one that we're talking about. It's actually really fun. It's, like, it's a really good movie, really yeah. But, um. And there's an actual point to this movie. Like, there's actual good meaning and good jokes in that movie. Damn, I feel like I confused you guys because I don't even know what was going on in that movie. And I was paying you attention. You were confusing me. I was paying attention to the movie, like trying to see like, oh, maybe there's like little, uh, little like Easter egg-like jokes. But no. No? Okay. No Easter egg-like jokes, no like references. It's kind of pointless. And like I feel bad because it's also directed by a lady, so like. What? Talent got no gender. I mean, it's like, know, it's either you a good, good director or you're not. Like No, but like, people are pushing for movies to be directed by women now, and it's like, like, that was trash. Like, you shouldn't direct movies. But there's other, there's other directors who've done a good job. I mean, Patty Jenkins is kind of good, but I feel like... I'm sure there's a lot of ladies out there that are awesome directors and writers and producers. They have just not given the opportunity, so we need to give them the opportunity. We, I mean, there's gonna be a few bad apples in the bunch, but this we need to give them. <laughs> we need to give them the opportunity, definitely. I mean, I could have farted on film and made a better movie oh my with that. Gosh. Add like little effects and like green smoke. Stop, babe. That's <laughs> gross. And then, like, point at the camera, and that's the end of my movie, and I can put that in theaters. That would still be better than Rough Night. Thank you guys for watching. Oh, I'll see you guys Bye. next.